This is a, a typical exam question on trig function. Uh, the key words or the key phrase phrases will be uh, this: your sine curve, your cycle, your period, your amplitude, the vertical shift, and the unit circle. Right. This is the question. It's typical of uh, uh, an A-level question. Uh, it says, what is the equation of this graph? And uh, then that's part A. For part B is, what is the smallest value of x when y is 0 for x greater than uh, 0 degrees? So in effect, we're working between 0 and, um, I don't know, 2 pi radians. Okay? Right. Now, this is the graph we are considering, and we're looking at uh, values between 0 and 2 pi. Now, I've done a similar exercise somewhere. Uh, what I tend to do is to try and shift my graph such that it is symmetrical about the line y is equal to 0, or the x-axis. Okay, now this is what you get after you've uh, moved your graph such that it is symmetrical about the x-axis or y is equal to zero. We note that um, we complete one cycle uh, by the time we get to pi radians and the second cycle we complete by the time it, we get to two pi radians. So, the period is 2. Okay? If you divide 2 pi by pi, you get 2. So the period is 2. Also note that the amplitude, that's the distance from the x-axis to work to, to our turning point, and that's 6. So the amplitude is 6. Alright. So, the graph at this stage is 6 sine 2x 6 sine 2x now the black graph is the original graph given to us so in order to get our blue graph which has the equation 6 sine 2x to coincide with the original graph we need to move the blue graph 3 units upwards three units vertically upwards, vertical and uh, parallel to the y-axis. Okay, so that moves three units upwards. So every corresponding point moves three units upwards. So now, this means that the equation of the graph is now 6 sine 2x plus 3, and that's what's required. Right, the second part of the question uh, says what is the smallest value of x when y is 0 or f of x is 0. So we are actually looking at the point marked on the graph. Now the thing to bear in mind here is that we complete one cycle by the time we get to pi radians and not two pi radians. So our one cycle is completed by the time we get to pi radians. Okay, now we want to find the x value at the point shown, because at that point shown, the uh, uh, y is 0. Okay, and you must remember that we complete our cycle in pi radians and not 2 pi radians. So now we now have to do 6 sine 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. And if we move the 3 and divide by 6, we get sine 2x is minus a half. Now, ignoring the minus sign for now, sign, sorry, 2x is 30, so x is 15. Now, because this 15 degrees occurs in the third quadrant, we now have to add 15 to 90. So the, the angle we require is 105 degrees. I hope that makes sense. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.